hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video we learn something about template matching using OpenCV and python so before we move on to the coding part of it let me just explain to you what exactly template matching is so this is basically an image of a snail which is sitting on top of a leaf so what we will try to do is i'll show the code a small image of this particular snail and the code should be able to identify the snail from this whole image and it should create a box around it and basically it should identify the snail from the whole image so the output that we expect is something like this we should get a box around the snail so we show this image first and we show this template to the code and we expect the output we expect the code to find the snail by itself and create a box around it so that we can know that yeah the, the snail has been found by the code so now let us just move on to the coding part of it so as usual i import the important libraries like numpy pan numpy cv2 and uh, matplotlib so i run this part of code and next i load the image the image of a snail and i even make a copy of it that will be used later on so i run this part of code so next i convert the image of a snail one one image i convert the image one the original image into a grayscale image because template matching requires the image to be in a grayscale format and i convert the second the copy the copy that i made here of the original image i convert that into an rgb image you will come to know that why did i convert into rgb when we reach that point so I run this part of code as well and I see the original grayscale image so this is the image of a snail and now this is the original image the, the bigger picture and then next I load I create a template I create a variable name that uh, as template and I load the image of only the snail in this variable so I run this part of code and I even convert it to a grayscale format because as I told you OpenCV needs image in a grayscale format in order to do the template detection so in order to yeah so I run this part of code as well and this is the template the template this is the image that we want to identify from this bigger picture so next what I do is I try to identify the shape of this particular template which we will be using later part when we create a rectangle so i run this part of code and this is the width and the height so let me just uh, print out the width and the height as well print w and h so i run this part of code so the width of the th this image if you compare it is something around 100 and, uh, 1600 and the height is something around 1033 so the width is six, yeah you can just cross check it so next this is the real part where we do the template matching we use the match template function of opencv and this is the original image the image one the, that we converted to the grayscale the whole image where the snail is sitting on top of a leaf the first argument is that and the second argument is the template and this, this this is one of the template matching parameters there are various other parameters that you can use but currently i am using the tm underscore cco i am using this particular parameter so this will actually identify or it will give it i'll execute the code and i'll show it to you and i'll just copy this part of code so that we will be able to visualize the output of this result what actually it does is just a second result what it actually does is where the template matches in this whole particular image it creates a bright spot at that particular point so as you can just identify that it created a bright spot at the center because the snail is sitting exactly at the center in the center of the picture so it created a bright spot where the template actually matched. 
So using this particular bright spot we can identify in which particular location do we need to create a rectangle. So in order to do that we write a we use a min max function which identifies the minimum and maximum value of pixels in this particular resultant image that we got after the template matching. So we uh, I run this part of code and I print the minimum location and the maximum location that we got from the min max function and I run this part of code as well. So we don't care about the minimum value. We only care about the maximum value because maximum value will give us the bright spot. So uh, we take the top left corner of the rectangle as the maximum value and the bottom right we, we just add a few parameters that we got that is the width of the template and height of the template that we got here. So I run this part of code and this is an important part where we create a rectangle. So this is the image too. You remember one image that I converted to RGB format. So this is that first parameter and then I mentioned the corner, the top left corner of the rectangle and the bottom left corner of the rectangle that we calculated here. Next is the what color do we want the rectangle to be. So the, this is RGB so if uh, the R value is 255 so the rectangle will be red in color. If I keep the value as 255 for the second parameter then the rectangle will be green in color and similarly 255 here will make a blue rectangle and this is the thickness of the rectangle. So this is the thickness of the rectangle so I am keeping the thickness to be 50 and I run this part of code and once again I'll just print the top left and the bottom right corners of the output image and, and I plot the final image that I got. So this is how we were able to generate a rectangle and this is how we were able to match a template in a single image. So if you can just compare the top left corner, the values for the top left corner from the x-axis and the y-axis then you will be able to identify how properly we were able to create a rectangle. So in this uh, particular example we just matched a single template that is we just showed a uh, a single there was just one snail here yeah? so there was only one template to be matched so, but uh, we'll take an example where we need to match multiple there will there are multiple matches so i'll take that example as well so as usual just like previous example i run this i import the important libraries and i load the original image so and i create a copy of it as well and then i convert it to grayscale format and i display the image so this is the image I uh, I will like I will uh, try to match various uh, flowers from this image and this is uh, maybe I'll take a template wait a second I will just show you that as well. So this is the particular template that I am taking and I'll try to match this particular template and this whole image. So uh, this is the original image I load the template and I convert it to a grayscale format and I just display it. Similarly just like previous video I identify the width of the image and height of this template image and I do the template matching. In the previous in the uh, previous example I took the third parameter as I took a different parameter here and for multiple matching I am taking a different parameter. Well it depends on the condition. Uh, on the type of the image that you are using. So I run this part of code as well and I display the the resultant image and there are multiple white spots here because the template the, the template was able to match multiple times because there are many flowers here and this particular flower got matched to on multiple occasions. So they, these are the various bright spots that have occurred here. But in the example, the previous example for min, we took in a, uh, we used the CV2 function of min max, min max location. But in this example, there are more than one minimum and there are more than one maximum. So the min max location, if we use the min max location, we will be able to find only one particular spot. But here there are many spots. So instead of uh, taking the min max function, we take a threshold value and we try to match where the threshold is below 0 0.35.
so i'm taking a threshold of 0.35 in case if you use a different image then you will have to take different threshold based on different images so i take a threshold and i use a numpy where function in order to identify where exactly the threshold is below 0.35 which means that where exactly which spot is brighter so it identifies those spots and it creates a rectangle around those spots so uh, here the uh, just like the uh, previous example the image the original colorful image where i made a copy of it the pt which is the uh, top left corner here the bottom right corner of the rectangle is calculated and rgb format i am taking the 255 this time i'm i'll be drawing a blue rectangle around the match template as r is 0 g is 0 and b is 255 and the thickness is 10 so i run this part of code and finally i display the image and as you can see that we were able to match multiple templates now we were able to identify a multiple flowers the original was a single flower but it was uh, the 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 open sea was able to identify various other match templates but i think it should have identified this flower as well but if you notice this flower is slightly skewed it is not that circular in shape but it is slightly oval but uh, you have to ad adjust the hyper parameters in order to get a proper correct output so this was a video on template matching and where we match the single template as well as multiple templates so i hope you like the video please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching